Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Extra Time TV and we are with someone who doesn't need any introduction. You know, a legend of the game, many names you went by, Little Magician, Russell Atterby. Um, I mean, it's difficult to make a true analysis of being home in such a short time and and um, and working in, in an intense environment with this group of players. But what I could say about, and, and I would say about this group of players is that they're a fantastic bunch, you know, they're, they're, they're great on discipline, they're very hard working, they've got a lot of ability. So it's a fantastic bunch to work with and I'm, 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 I'm happy working with them. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a tricky question because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know that you have to uh, analyze it. And, and also it's kind of like giving away a game plan to other teams, oh, yeah, no right? Yeah. But but what I would say is that I, I think that football should be played with the ball at our feet. Mm -hmm. So um, because we have a, a good technical bunch of players on, on this present team, mm -hmm. we are going to try to play with the ball at our feet. Like I said, we have um, a lot of players with good technical ability. We're going to try and provide a, a, a platform where they could showcase this ability, um, but in the benefit of the team. Yeah. Well, not, not only the team, but what, what I would like to see um, in the long term mm. for our football is us um, getting back to, to again playing with football and 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 the technical side of our game we've always been from back in my time coming up uh, a nation with a lot of uh, song technically good players um i think um somewhere along the line you know we kind of went away from it a bit mm -hmm. And um, and we kind of went uh, defensive kind of style mm -hmm. football, not losing goals as the way we were playing. So well, to answer your question, what I'd like to see is that we get back uh, to producing technically sound players and get back to playing uh, entertaining football that brings results. Okay. But it, it is well worth it because um, it doesn't really change your philosophy of the game but what it does is, is show you ways and means of, of getting your message across um, that the players can understand it. Uh, because you know I'm a sport management student uh, there's many aspects of the games that I think a lot of people need to understand the amount of work in terms of the field itself you know when you want to become an engineer you study and become an engineer to become a coach you do have got qualifications it's not just some you strap on a suit and go on. Exactly. Yeah. So it is. It is hard work, and and the thing is, is that most of the preparation that you do is actually done before you, you step on the field. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that is the interesting thing about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I drifted off from the original fun question. So, do you, you know, you're aware of the FIFA phenomenon? Do you, do you play at all? No, no. Be plays on the field. <laughs> I, I don't I don't have time mm. really and um and in my free time mm. I have uh I fell in love with a different sport and, and, and hobby mm. which is golf. Okay, okay. So in my free time I actually play golf now because most of my friends play also. So when I'm not working mm. and doing homework for football I, I'm playing golf. So do you have any ex teammates from you know maybe the original team that you go a couple holes with? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dwight, you know, Dwight is a is a big golfer. Brian is a, a golfer as well, you know. So we always play. Um and then we have other guys like Wayne Batiste mm -hmm. who who played we played together on the national team. He's a he's a big golfer. But there's a golf is a a, a big game in Trinidad, you know, okay. there's a lot of young people playing and it's an exciting, entertaining game. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we have a, a nice little circuit going that we play on and, and it's a lot of fun. Okay. In in golf, yeah. uh, golf is is one of these games, uh, like like most other games, it just depends on your day. Okay. You know, we all decent golfers, um, but uh, to, to pick a winner, mm -hmm. it, it it depends on your day, you know, some days uh, everything goes right mm -hmm. and some days everything goes right for somebody else, you know, so okay. it's just one of these things. Right. Um, 
I actually like them both equally, and I'll give you the reasons. I think that Lionel Messi is more naturally gifted, mm -hmm. but I think um, Cristiano has developed his talents by working really hard. Mm -hmm. So I think they both great examples for for, for young players, you know. So. Um, so I can choose one because uh, I mean Cristiano to get where he is, he he worked really hard to get there, you know, first on the training pitch, last off sort of thing, right? And Lionel, I, I think you know he got a he got a gift, okay. you know, that he was able to, to enhance. So we know we have lots to do, we lots of preparations to do. So we try to milk this as much as possible. So good luck in the upcoming games, and we'll be in the stands. So thanks a lot. All right.